So last time I was on the Facebook marketplace looking for something to flip when I came across this entire gaming setup. I checked the price and saw that it was only going for $450. So I jumped on that immediately because I knew I could instantly resell this thing and make a little bit of extra money. It wasn't until I got there that I realized this was not a regular purchase. I, I don't know a lot about it. I don't know mm -hmm. if I told you. It, it, it belonged to my uh, adult son. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, he passed away last year. He was 33. Oh, so after loading everything into my car and driving home, I went through all of the hard drives, seeing if I could find anything that the dad might have wanted and then appraised everything for its total value. So now sitting here looking at all of this, if I were to try and sell it right now, I believe I could get around $700. And normally that's what I would do because flipping is how I make a little extra side money. However, this computer is truly one of a kind and is hands down the nicest computer I have ever purchased secondhand. And lastly, the story behind this computer unfortunately hits a little bit too close to home for me. Um, I don't wanna get too into that, but that is a big reason why I'm gonna do what you were about to see. I spent a lot of time thinking about what I should do with this computer. I tried my best putting myself in the shoes of the original owner of this computer and after sitting with it for a few days, I came to the conclusion that he would probably want what any other PC builder enthusiast of his caliber would have wanted with a five-year-old system and that is an upgrade. So I have a few of my favorite components here to the side that we are gonna be using to make this thing a little bit nicer. So without further ado, Let's get started. Please, 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 please work. Oh, thank God. All right, so as you guys can tell, the computer looks a lot different now. So let's talk about the upgrades we made. As for the case, we swapped from the Cooler Master Trooper to an NZXT H500i, and we did that for a couple reasons. Number one, the H500 and H700 cases from NZXT are my favorite cases of 2018, and I wanted to incorporate a piece of myself into this setup. Number two, when I opened up the original computer, I saw that there was a very obvious black and red color scheme that was attempted, but wasn't able to be seen from the outside because there is no glass panel on the Cooler Master Trooper. I wanted to keep the original owner's color scheme, so by going with the H500i, not only could we get a clean black on the outside, but now we can show all of the red accented parts that he chose originally on the inside. Plus, with the RGB lights that come already built into an H500i case, we can now push those reds even farther and the build looks absolutely stunning. 
For the graphics card, we upgraded the GTX 770 to an Asus Strix 1070. I specifically went for the 1070 as a way of commemorating the original decision to go for the 770 since both cards have the specific 70 iteration. The 1070 also has RGB lights, which I turned red to help keep consistent with the black and red color scheme. Now we went through a pretty quick time lapse for the build, so you guys probably didn't notice a lot of the challenges that came while rebuilding this thing. The biggest challenge out of all of them was actually the dust. This was by far the dirtiest system that I had ever worked inside and I actually had to wear a mask at one point because of how much I was coughing and sneezing. It was a little overwhelming and there's not much you can do about that and it should be expected considering the computer had been sitting around for so long. The other big challenge was the CPU cooler. Now originally this computer had a Corsair H100 all-in-one liquid cooler inside its system and it's a great cooler but unfortunately an AIO typically has a lifespan of two to three years and this one was very clearly showing signs of age because when I did turn it on in the original build, it was showing an idle temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, which is about 10, 15 degrees higher than where you want to see your CPU at if you're not doing anything on the system. I planned on replacing it with an RGB air cooler, which I had specifically picked out, but for whatever reason, even though it said that it was compatible with the CPU socket size in the system, the fitting would just never ever screw in. I tried for an hour to see if I was doing something wrong, but eventually I got so frustrated I gave up and just chose to find another CPU cooler which I had lying around, only to find out that even though that one was also compatible, it wouldn't fit. So my advice to anyone upgrading an older system, don't expect newer air coolers to work with older hardware, even if the compatibility says it will. Despite all that, I was still able to solve the problem and use an H60 by Corsair, which I had lying around, which I had only used for four months. It ended up being a great decision because now the idle temperatures are at 30 degrees Celsius as opposed to 40. So now that we're done building this thing, let's see if we can find someone who wants to buy it. All right, so about three hours have passed since I finished building the computer. I posted it and someone is already ready to buy it. Uh, as you can see here on the desk, there's nothing back here. I've loaded it all into the trunk of my car and we're gonna head over now and uh, see if we can't surprise this guy with a little Christmas present. Hi, are you guys spying on the computer? Yeah. Awesome, Steve. Chris, Steve. nice to meet you, Steve. Hey. Johnson. Johnson, nice to meet you. What kind of games do you guys play? Hey, Dota. Dota? Dota, PUBG. 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 League of Legends. That's my favorite one. <laughs> uh, the processor is an old is an older one, but it's still very strong. So it's a 4770K, which the K means you can overclock it. That's how and it's so oh, I mean, Intel. Intel. Now, I don't know if you guys do video editing or Photoshop or any, any kind of content creation. But if you do start to get into that stuff, then maybe you want to think about overclocking for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because right now I'm using a five-year-old laptop. Yeah. It's like Dota is like a snapshot. Oh god. We only have like laptops. Yeah, get off the laptop. <laughs> Bro broken laptops, like 600, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, oh. and six. All right. So I got a question. You guys, are, you guys are going to be using the computer, right? And I get the rest of the stuff. So it's going to be like your two's computer. Might, yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna buy another, another computer, I guess. Okay. So I just, I just ask you to make me a promise. This was a very important computer. It was special, uh -huh. um, and I put a lot of work and time into it. You guys promise you can take care of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. So I'll make you a deal. Uh it's Christmas. You guys are really cool. Oh thank you. Yeah, no. Steve. Take a hundred yeah, take a hundred off. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Thank you so much. Just you, you know, promise me to take care of it because it's yeah. it's important computer. It will last forever. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, no thank worries. You. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Later boys. Alright, so we just sold the computer and honestly I could not be happier with the people I ended up selling it to. Originally, I was worried about selling this thing because I was concerned that the person who would end up getting it wouldn't be the right fit, if that makes sense. But the two Filipino dudes that I just met up with, I don't know, you could just, you could tell they were good people. And one of them even just moved here. 
Um, he told me he sold all of his stuff just to afford the plane ticket over. And he actually used to be a video editor like me. So I'm glad we could hook him up with a good system for a really good price. And he can uh, get back into that. But this video is not over. Uh, there is still one more thing that we have to do before we can wrap this one up. Hey, Mr. Sorry so much for bugging you this late at night. Um, so I know uh, I know you don't know this. So what I would what I was um, when I saw the computer, um, what I do, you know, for like a side hustle is you know kind of helping pay the bills and everything. Um, I buy and sell computers, and when I saw the computer, I was just like, wow, like that's a really great price. I can you know help pay for some stuff. Yeah. Um, when I heard your story um, and I was thinking about it on the drive home it actually um, it hit a little bit too close to home um, and not to dump anything on you but um, I, I'm actually going through somewhat of a similar situation um, but on the opposite end and when I, when I took the computer home I opened it up and I looked inside and I saw and you know, not to nerd out, but saw how beautiful the computer was. I just started getting really emotional. And I thought that selling this and, and making it for myself is not the right thing to do. And that's not what I wanted to do. So what I did was I actually took the computer and I refurbished it and upgraded it to the best of my ability. I knew about everything I could do with computers and I put my soul into it. And then I found some people who actually really needed a computer for their job and I was able to sell it to them and I, and I asked them, I promised them, or asked them to promise me, please, you know, will you, will you take care of this? If it's okay with you, um, it would be, if you'd be okay with um, accepting what I was able to make off of it as a Christmas present, but also as my way of saying thank you for letting me see your son's work. And are, are you serious? Yeah, absolutely. I'm dead serious. And thing you for want me to step to do. inside a minute? Yeah, or sure. Okay. I don't know. It's a it's a firm belief of mine that if your parents take the time to, you know, put their love, their energy, and, and their time above all things into you, that you know, when you get older, when you get smart enough, when you get wise enough, it is your obligation, or it's it's a privilege for you to try to help take care of them and do what's right for them and and you know for you want to sit down no, that's okay i was okay, just okay. you know I, I don't think you know since you probably didn't have like the time or the energy or the knowledge on what the computer was worth and anything like that i just figured you know maybe i could kind of be the placeholder in that and you know try to provide the help that you know maybe your son would have wanted to have yeah, I told you, you know, there was, I think there was like 50 or maybe it was almost 75 to 100 people who were wanting to buy it. Mm -hmm. you know, and, you, but, you know, you probably knew just yeah. based off that, you know, this probably... I didn't know what it was worth, and I, yeah. but that, that wasn't a motivation. Yeah. Thinking about the mortality of your family members is, yeah. is tough. And, you know, between you and me, you know, I, I might... And, I'm sorry to hear that. No, you know this life it happens and um, another thing I wanted to do is you know I was thinking maybe if uh, I could help put some good karma or something out there in the world maybe yeah. you know maybe maybe the universe will maybe try to help me back out yeah but seriously I uh, you know coming back to the computer it truly was the nicest thing I've ever seen because when you really get to a high level of building and in and, and, you know enthusiast grade stuff there are so many tiny specificities and tiny little things that you need to know that take so long to learn. Yeah. And your son knew all of it. Yeah. So it was pretty good, huh? <laughs> it, it was yeah. Wow. five years ago yeah. is the best thing you could possibly have. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I really am serious about this. If it's okay yeah. with you, I really okay. would like well, just like to give you the present. Yeah. So, okay. Well, I appreciate that. I'll, I'll give this to his sister. Mm -hmm. You know, he has one sibling and mm -hmm. you know, she's really, we obviously all missed my son, but you know, she's really been you know, tore up with that. So, yeah. okay, I appreciate that. Thank I, you. I appreciate you. Thank you for taking your time. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry for bugging you yeah. this late. It's just, 
it's been like kind of thumping in my head and my chest for the last yeah. however long. So, but, uh, you know, again, you know, I hope hope that everything turns out in the long run okay, and good for you. Yeah. Okay. I'm so too, and you as well. Okay. Thanks again. Thank, Thank you so you much. More time. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, and that's the end of the video, guys. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I hope you found this entertaining or informative in any way, shape, or form. Just the regular outro. Merry Christmas, and, you know, as always, have a great day.